antipsychotic drugs uh, do, do generate a lot of, of uh, movement disorders that can be from Parkinsonism to tardive dyskinesias and, and the, these effects led to a better understanding of the role of dopamine uh, in the generation of, of movement uh, and, and that's how we learned that, that as I uh, told you earlier Parkinson's disease resulted from an hypodopaminergic tone and how we could replace that missing tone with uh, levodopa and the dopamine agonists. Movement is one of the great bridges uh, between neurology and psychiatry because it's one of the, of the most easy to observe uh, ways in which the, the brain manifests itself or you know, and so uh, I think that uh, it led to the, to the initial understanding of, of how the basal ganglia works and is, is now leading to a new understanding of how the, the basal ganglia works and, and, and we used to, to think that dopamine was a, an, an essential player in, in Parkinson's disease and this is obviously, obviously still true but there are many other things in Parkinson's disease, many other alterations that need to be explored so I think that it will be very very important in the, in the, in the next few years to, to explore this and improve the, the theory and, and the, I'm sure that this is necessary to generate new treatments that are completely different and perhaps more effective than the, than the current ones.